Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Wawa. Let's go in there and get some coffee. You know it's the best coffee in the world. I'm gonna go in there and get some of that Cuban roast, dark roast, probably put some of that Irish cream in there. I don't know if it's gonna be hazelnut. I can't do black, just can't do it, won't do it. I can try to do it, I have done it, but I don't like it. Uh, I know that you guys are always telling me in the comments, that's why I'm going blind, that's why my eye pressure is high, but I have decided that there is nothing, nothing this world can do against me when I've got Christ for me. So I ain't worried about no stinking doctors and caffeine. I'm not throwing caution to the wind either, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy myself and God's got my back. So let's go on in here to beautiful Wawa right here on Hypolexo Road, right off the I-95. And uh, hopefully you don't have any copyright music in here. It is a busy morning. It's that time of day. Everybody's heading to their prison jobs and they gotta make that money. You got all these people out here doing all this work for you uh, to bring you your stuff, your goods and build things and you know help you with your, uh, your home projects and whatever else they do. Uh, when those prison jobs, they're out there doing it. But first they want to stop into Wawa and grab themselves a coffee and a snack and get their fuel. It's kind of like a Bucky's, you know. These Wawa's are really, and they're doing free coffee, someone told me in comments, on Wednesdays. It wasn't just for their uh, birthday. I'm going to inquire about that. Uh, today's Friday for the third time this week. So let's go inside. All right, here we go. Let's see if they got any music going on in here. Take my glasses off. Oh no, they don't. It's it's great. So I go right over here to the coffee section, and I have my selection. I'll get the uh, the largest cup they can make. Actually, I usually get yeah, I get the largest. I always get the largest. You see, you have your choice here of Colombian, Cuban roast. They got regular. Let's go with this one right here back out for you guys. First, I actually like to put the cream in uh, so it mixes it nice. And then over here on the uh, coffee bar, they got all this uh, creamer already opened up. Sugars, I got these things. You have to use these because the coffee is very hot here. They have good hot coffee. This guy here, he likes the hazelnut. He's inspiring me. I might have to go with it too. That's just enough for me, right there. I don't even see, oh, there's the Irish cream. Oh yeah, that stuff's pretty good. I might have to go with that. I did it once, I'll do it again. Oh, it's a brand new one too, oh boy. Let's see if it's open. Yep, and we'll just take that. That's about all I need for a big, large cup. May not be enough, I don't know. Let's get over here and get some coffee. I, uh, I've done them all, you know, regular, the Colombian, but I'm kind of hooked on this one. So you see I bring it on in there and it mixes it up nicely. Boom, that is hot. So we want to get over here and grab one of these things right here. And you see they're making sandwiches and do all kinds of stuff here. Wawa's got to go on. This guy's cleaning it up nice for us. They don't play. You know, I like a quick trip too, the QTs in uh, Georgia. I think they're out of Texas originally. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this with one hand. Oh man, I'm gonna need a little help. If I can just get it to stay open a little bit, like that. Ooh, does he have it? Oh, it's closing in on me. Oh, oh. <laughs> he got it. So we'll go over to the uh, register now and pay. Maybe we can pay for somebody else too. Let's do that. We'll definitely try to do that. Oh my gosh, that's good coffee. Mmm, with the Irish cream. Oh boy, that's really good. Let me get over here and pay now. I'll be right back to you guys. 
All right, so I had a really good experience in there. Uh, there was no music uh, interfering that I heard. Uh, it might be, I'll have to check it before I, I put the video up. But I did, I was able to pay for somebody. This is not to toot my horn, this is just to motivate you to maybe consider doing the same thing. It was a, a beautiful, a very beautiful looking um, Hispanic young lady with a medical outfit on. And they're very good in here about opening up more registers when there's a line. They don't let people just hang out and wait in line. So this guy comes over and I, I thought he was gonna open up right where I was standing. <clears throat> but I was next to the next register and he goes, no, I can get you, I can get you. But there was this nice lady behind me and I was gonna have to back up, but I was gonna be next to the other one. So I said, no, no, go ahead, young lady, go ahead. And, uh, and then I thought, well, here's the opportunity. Uh, she had a little coupon and I guess she was paying for food. She was getting some kind of uh, breakfast snacks and uh, different things. And so I don't know what it was actually. I asked the guy afterwards because I said, what did she get? Because I didn't see her carry away anything. He said, oh, she was paying for um, some food, some sandwiches they were making for her over at the, uh, at the sandwich bar. So I just, uh, I have my uh, selfie stick where I can reach over and I had it on wallet, you know, Apple Pay. And I just touched the little uh, tap and pay thing and, uh, and paid for her. And she was just, just so tickled, you know. Oh, thank you so much. That was so nice of you. Thank you so much. Just made my morning. And you know what, folks? It's not like, it's not like something's going to come back to me. It's not like I'm sitting here telling you this for any reason other than I want others to do it. It's fun. It's, it makes you happy. And, and God does see it. There will be something come back to you when you do something like that, something kind for somebody, even if it makes them pay it forward and they do it for the next person or think about it. And they'll talk about that all day. It wasn't cheap either. I won't tell you the dollar amount, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't cheap. Normally, I, if I do it at um, McDonald's, <laughs> I'll say, how much is the order behind me? And if it's over a certain dollar amount, I'll say, all right, thanks. <laughs> I ain't kidding you. No, I ain't, I ain't gonna, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna spend. And, uh, <clears throat> and that was, uh, that was a good little amount she had there too. So anyway, I know it sounds like I'm boasting, but I really just want to encourage folks to do the same thing. And it's not always about just paying for someone's meal, but you can do other generous things, kind things. You know, you see a, a person today at Walmart when you go there, you know, offer to grab their cart and take it into the uh, cart uh, buggy for them. Look for things to be a servant. Humble yourself and you shall be exalted. This is the best cup of coffee I ever drank in my life. It really is good. So now I got to get back to my prison job of building a deck over at Ted and Jolene's. And then I'm going to go to lunch in uh, Fort Lauderdale today and see my son, Christopher, and his wife, Shanna. And he doesn't know his name till 10 or 11 in the morning. He's one of these guys that stays up late. But, uh, oh boy, look at that. I'll keep that. I just found an Allen wrench. It's got to be the largest I've ever seen in my life. I'm just kicking it out of the way. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. Take a look at this Allen wrench. That's a big one. Look at that. I wonder how, how handy that would be. Definitely want to keep that. You don't want to just let that sit around. Like finding a $20 bill on the ground. So we'll put that in the... Uh, Losers, weepers, finders, keepers, right? <laughs> I'll stick it in the door pocket here. All right. Let me have one more swallow. Mmm, this is so good. Ah, not only do I get the best cup of coffee I ever drink in my life, it's a beautiful day. I was already at the beach this morning. Everything's going great. I'm very confident about my eyes. I'm very confident in my relationship with God. I'm so blessed to have Ted and Jolene in my life, and it's nice to be able to, uh, you know, 
have a community like you and read your comments. I'm never alone. I'm always out there. I showed you guys this morning when I got up uh, in the cramper there and a few of you said, hey, you could live in that. You could, I'm not living it, but you could camp in that. You could stay in that. Uh, one person said they couldn't stay one night in it. They're glad that it works for me. I'll promise you this. If you had to sleep out there on the scorpions and snakes on the ground, you'd find your way to get in there. <laughs> so don't tell me you can't sleep in it. Sure, maybe it wouldn't be something you would buy, but it's really cool. It really is. I, I love the little cramper. And, you know, it's kind of a, a mystique thing. When I had the Forerunner, everybody kind of recognized the truck a lot. You know, it was a big red, not a big, but a red, uh, shiny uh, Forerunner. And people got to know it. And now I think now people are getting to know the Cramper. And so as I do my travels, I'm going to have to get a bigger decal, I think, that says Sarasota Tim on it. Uh, the Bushwhacker is kind of a distraction, but I'm going to leave that on there. And the YouTube shows up, like on this one. But the Sarasota Tim font is kind of small. But, you know, we'll see. Whatever. I like to promote. Oh, my gosh. That's good coffee. That's the best cup of coffee you'll ever drink in your life. Come to Wawa. Get the Cuban roast. Put some Irish cream in there. Or hazelnut. Or black. Whatever you like. But whatever you do, crush it.